Today we got a pretty exciting video. Uh, over the weekend I have been testing the new NVIDIA Neumotron 3 Nano 30B A3B. So this is a new model from NVIDIA. This is like a hybrid mixture of experts models. I have been playing around with the 30B model because I thought that was mostly uh, available to you. This will be available today on Hugging Face and other platforms if you want to try it out. And this is like a 30 billion parameters model with 3 billion parameters active at the time. So it's super fast. You can see it has the four times throughput versus the, the, the previous version of Nimbletron. And the efficiency is better on the reasoning token, so 60% fewer. And the context window is huge. It's a 1 million context window on a 30B model. So that's going to be interesting to play around with. And of course this is open. It has the fully open weights. It has also shared a lot of its data sources if this is something you is interested in. So a super fun model. It's very fast. I've been using it through the API from NVIDIA and I had a blast with it. So I wanted to share something I have been playing around with. And you can see the speed of this because I've been testing it around in open code. Uh, this is kind of like an open source version of uh, Cloud Code. And we're going to try to build a few stuff today to see what we actually can do uh, in performance with this. Can we build some simple apps and stuff in open code? So yeah, let's just head over there, play around a bit with this model and see what we can do. So I just wanted to start over here on cursor just to show you what kind of limits I've set this to now. So I set the context window to 1 million and the output to 40,000 tokens, right? So this is pretty interesting for like a small model like this. And I have been testing it out. I haven't done any like specific tries. Uh, but as you will see now, it's so fast in open code. And I was thinking, should we run open code in the terminal? Just for the video's sake, I think we're going to run it in this terminal. Uh, even though I kind of prefer to uh, have it here. So I thought we can start by trying to build a simple... Let's see if we can follow the instructions. So uh, I went to Nana Banana Pro here on FAL AI. I grabbed kind of the documentation for Python for this model and I just pasted it in a documentation file here. Uh, nanobanana.md. We have 200 lines here with the, uh, yeah, uh, Gemini model here on Nana Banana on FAL. So if we do open code, right? I don't know if you played around with this. Super cool open source. You can see we are on the Nimotron 3 Nano 30B, 30B, 3B active from NVIDIA. Perfect. So you can see down here we are in our apps Nano 3 directory. So what I can do now is we can start by reading the documentation. So Nano Banana. So let's read that. Okay, and now on the right side here, you can see what we are doing. You can see the context. So 13,000 tokens is just 1% used. That's pretty, pretty interesting. So I want to start with something simple. I think we want to start to just figure out how we can write some Python code to just generate an image and maybe get the image back and save it. So uh, let's prompt something here to Nano uh, Nemotron 3 Nano here. So I thought we can do create a nano pi that takes a text prompt, turn it into image, we save in slash images. So here we can do plan mode too, we can test that out. So we're gonna do a plan mode here in open code. And we can see the speed now when this starts going. That is incredible, right? I don't know how fast that was, but you can see. So let's switch back now because we already have the plan. Uh, implement plan, okay? And you can see again, it's just gonna go off. Thinking tokens just speeding away. We do the right tool. Uh, so one thing I wanted to see is how is it to following tool calls and stuff. And it's pretty good. It sometimes makes this error, but here you can see we did some writing here. Uh, but sometimes it misses a bit. But I would say the tool calling is very good. It always picks the correct tools. That's kind of my um, test so far. So let's see what we got now. So you can see we got our Nano Pi here, right? And there are probably a few issues. But let's see how this runs now. It was so fast, we even kind of didn't register that it was finished. Uh, but I, I, I bet there are some issues here. Uh, Nano.py. Uh, okay, so we have some argument issues because we need to put it in this. Yeah, this is a bit of a nasty format. Let's try to change up that a bit. So let's just do, just pick a standard format, 1K916PNG user only enters prompt because I don't want to set up everything. 
So let's see if we can do that edit here now. Okay, so we did some writing here, that's interesting. And uh, the speed is just, uh, I can't really compare it to anything else. Uh, but of course I'm running this on the API now, but you can run this locally, it's a 30B model. So that's pretty cool to have this locally with this 1 million context window. So let's see now, we are still doing some changes, we are doing a lot of reasoning tokens, but it's pretty efficient since the speed is so high. Okay, so let's see where we are at now, so let's do this. Okay, so we need to follow this up with a prompt, uh, let's try that. So let's just do Taylor Swift selfie, okay, we need to set our API key, I kind of forgot that. So I have my API key in the ENV here, let's see if we can load that from there. So uh, in just good practice, I like to clear this and start in a fresh context window. So let's just do in at nano, oops, at nano.py, uh, use dot uh, env to load uh, file key from uh, at, uh, let's do at dot env. Okay, let's try that. So we can't read this, but it should be able to do the load dot env. Okay, that's good. I like this speed though. Okay, so see, uh, let's see now where we are. So let's clean this up. Let's try it again. Uh, okay, so we have an issue with the file client. Let's try to fix that. So again, I'm just going to start a new one. And uh, let's try to fix this. In at nano, uh, fix error, error, and paste in this. Okay, so let's give it a chance to fix this. Since it's so fast, it doesn't really matter too much. Okay, great, so you can see image has been saved. So if we go here, we should have that selfie image. Okay, perfect, so that is working. So now let's see if we can actually do anything with... I was thinking Streamlit. I haven't tried this, uh, but let's try it out. So I'm just gonna do a prompt that is gonna be something like... So I'm just gonna do at nano.py is working, saves the images in image. Please create a streamlit UI we can run local for this workflow. So let's see if we can do this. I think we need to maybe create a plan first uh, and then we try to implement this. Okay, so this is gonna be our plan and I'm gonna go to build, execute plan. Okay, so you can see we did the writing here, that's good. Okay, so let's test this out now. So I think we're gonna do streamlit uh, run app.py. Okay, so we are popping up. Okay, so enter a prompt. Let's try it again. Okay, so let's hit generate. Okay, so we have an issue here. Let's try to fix that. So I'm just gonna grab all this. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we have some issues. Uh, let's try to fix that. So let's do again in at app.py we get error okay and paste it in create a plan to fix and let's do plan mode oops i think the plan mode here is a good way to go okay so let's try execute plan <laughs> it's so fast i can't even read what's happening here Okay, so let's try again. So if we go here, uh, let's run the app again. Uh, let's just try the same prompt. Okay, generating image, this looks promising. So we just have to await a bit, I guess, and hopefully the image will pop up here too. So yeah, that might be it. So if this works now, that means that we generated like, all right, that was pretty fast. Yeah, we got it. Here's the prompt, Taylor Swift selfie, okay. Yeah, that's nice, okay. So I wanna do one more uh, thing with the um, Nemotron Nano 3. So let me think of something we can test here. So the most important thing for me, uh, at least I think this is important, is how good a model is to actually call the correct tooling, right? So this model should be trained on tool calls. So we want to do a small test to see how that works in open code. Let me just close those. So you can see we have a bunch of different tools here. We have uh, edit, write, read, grep, glob, list, patch, to do, read, and write, to do, write, to do, read, and web fetch. So I want to try to string a bunch of these tools together just to see if we can actually do like a string of tools and actually get the correct output. So I'm gonna head back to open code. Uh, did I start a new one? I think so. 
And I'm gonna come up with a prompt here that tries to do multiple tool calls uh, that has to end in something, right? So let me come up with something here. Okay, so let's try to be a bit ambitious here. So we need some information about the NVIDIA 5090 GTX card. Do a web search, that's one tool call. Find five bullet points. Uh, save this info in 5090.txt. That is gonna be a write and um, a read, right? And, or write and re uh, write at least. Uh, after that, we need to find the five last days of the closing Bitcoin price. Write some Python code with the open Gecko API to fetch the price. Store this as btc.csv in CVD. Then also create a Python code to run matplotlib for a graph of the Bitcoin price. Run this generated Python code. So this is a lot of operations. So here we're gonna try to see how uh, it performs in doing all of these tool calls. So it's so fast, right? You can't really keep up. So what I'm wondering is if we are actually gonna lose the, um, we are gonna lose the, um, the context here over time that we kind of forgot the plan we were gonna do. Uh, but we should have a million context window. So my plan now is just to let this run and see how long this takes. And I'll take you back if we have something. And if we can do this, I think this is a very good proof of that uh, the tool calling is working very well. And yeah, I'm just gonna let this run and I'll take you back if we have something. Okay, so it says, the task was completed successfully. The 5090 TXT file contains five bullet points. The fetch btc.py script was executed to fetch the Bitcoin data, save it as btc and generate a price graph. Okay, so let's go see. Uh, we do have the, okay, we do have, but that is all the same date though. Uh, but still we got something. Uh, we have the PNG for the graph. Okay, so that was just <laughs> straight graph. Uh, let's say we need the five dates maybe, but this was a pretty good. And we have the 5090 uh, expected to launch with 25 GB. I guess it already had launched, but we have some information here. So I would say this was pretty impressive. Let's see if we can actually adjust something on the fly here. And uh, we needed the Bitcoin price for five different days. Maybe we can change that. Good job. Uh, but we need the BTC price. And uh, let's tag the BTC price for five uh, last days. Aka dates. Uh, update and fix. Okay, so let's see if we can do that too. Because now we just got the same date. We want five different days. So let's see if we can do that. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, so if we blow this up a bit now. Yeah, this looks more correct. We were at 92. Yeah, I think this is correct. So we got there in the end. Yeah, perfect. Uh, okay, <laughs> it's still going. I don't know what's happening here. Uh, but... Um, what can I say? I think you should go to Hugging Face and or other platforms and just try this out because I've been really enjoying this model to be honest and it's so much fun to play around with the 1 million context window that is something I haven't really done on like a small model like this and with the throughput I have had on this API it's been super fun and I've been trying to do these small things like how fast can I do this so I went from like putting in some prompts and having the the small app or uh, code ready in like five seconds. So that's pretty fun. So yeah, find the link. you can follow the link in the description. I'm gonna put a link up there where you can read some more information. You can maybe find the link to Hugging Face. So yeah, go check it out. NVIDIA Nemotron 3 Nano. I've been playing around the 30B model. So yeah, thank you for tuning in. Have a great day and I'll probably see you again tomorrow.